good man. I'm sorry, was there something you wanted? You never said how your three weeks in Orlais went. You're right. I didn't. So how was it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> your men could give the Templars a run for their sovereigns. They've had to. As long as there's no Viscount, the Order thinks they can bark at any man in uniform. I won't have it. The people of Kirkwall need to see themselves in their guard. Lose that connection, we're just targets. Kirkwall seems to have rallied around you. I try to keep order, and people appreciate that. Everything else is going insane. A few complaints here and there, but for the most part, I think everyone's just glad the guard has been stable for a few years. Just checking in. Need anything? Yes, there's something. Come back soon. I'll get into it then. I'll see you later. Of course, Hawk. What? You tell me to come down here and then you don't want to talk about anything? A simple chest? Really? Basic. Another simple chest. I love doing that. <laughs> you got caught on the corner of a table. Aren't you a little embarrassed of yourself? Um. Righty dokey. Oh, right. Anders again. I'm going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. You've been right all along. What I did with justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. Is there some way to undo it? I've spent the past three years researching the methods of Tevinter Magisters. They're the only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession, not just behead the victims. Hmm. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate Justice and me, without killing either. Surely that's worth any risk it entails. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... What? Nothing. I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tevinters call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. That doesn't sound sinister at all. Oh, you're a well, liar pants! You know Tevinters? They can't throw a Winter Send party without a human sacrifice or two. But I promise, everything in my research says there's no blood magic involved. Liar pants! Liar, liar, liar pants! You should have this back. Twine? When did I loan you a ball of twine? You gave it to me when I first moved here, when I kept getting lost in Lowtown. It drove the merchants in the market completely batty, but it did help me find my way. Keep it, Daisy. I don't think I'll be getting lost again anytime soon. Well, you never know. Might need to tie a package up, hang a lantern, dress a roast chicken. It's multi-purpose. Yeah, but if she's used it wandering all over town, it's probably gross. I imagine Orzammar is like this. Only with beards and an overwhelming sense of superiority. <laughs> it is. Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm over here trying to cast my spells and nothing's happening. Slavers? <sighs> Ooh, death root.
Wait. What's in the sewers? Oh. Shit. We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar portray. Are you ready? Let's go. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. Isabella! I know it isn't my place to criticize, but are you sure about Meryl? She acts sweet, but she'll never pick you over her demon. Meryl loves me. What right do you have to question us? Is your justice any different? Yes. Keep your illusions, then. Maker knows I won't be the one to change them. You'll have to be faster than that! Poor guy doesn't have a chance. Everyone stay still and try not We're good to go. This is it. The cellar Petre should have formed right under here. Oh, I don't want to touch that. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Joy. Oh, that's right. I was going to go to the Black Emporium and change facilities again. paintings on the walls. Oh, the Enigma of Kirkwall. Jeez. Convoluted. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Oopie dopey. More deposits of the yucky yuck. Hang on. Oh. Never mind. Okay. Up we go. True to door. <laughs> Oh, 
I didn't bring her. That was beautiful. <laughs> I wonder if he realizes how disturbing it is that he talks to his crossbow. Get back! Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. Okay. Ah. Ah. Oops. Find a few more deposits. Wow, that's gotten old quick. Easy as butter. Huh. That should be plenty. Thank the maker. Right? Okay. any way to get Isabella to come back or if she's just gone gone <laughs> dark spook is the real dark oh whoops i went down there to talk to that guy didn't i <laughs> and then i forgot story behind Bianca. There's a story behind everything, Daisy. So tell me. I can't. Why not? There was a girl and I made a promise. Bianca is the only story I can never tell. You can't say that. Now I want to know even more. <laughs> that was the idea, Daisy. <laughs> nice. Ooh, and I still have Anders in my party. Blech. The elves should stand with us. They have suffered too. Oh, stop. God, you're whiny. No, um, it's my third or fourth time playing, but, uh... Aren't you glad you don't live here anymore? <laughs> I made an import. I played Dragon Age Origins with all the DLCs and then Awakenings. Uh, where I made all, like, mage-centric choices. So I'm siding with the mage's circle for everything, and I wanted to carry that through Dragon Age 2, that way when Inquisition comes out, I, you know, I can see how that plays into the whole Mages and Templars Civil War thing. I found the gem of Karashek. If you want it, come to Darktown alone. Leave that alone. 
There are things in my life that don't actually involve you. Stay out of my business, girl. No, I just I'm complaining about Isabella. Ha, <laughs> nice. Um normally when I do a playthrough, I make friends with her so much that she stays with me uh at the end of act 2 and into act 3. And I did something wrong because she took off and she's not back. So I'm sad. That note mentioned the gem of Karoshek. What's that? It's nothing. Never mind. Now, this gem sounds pretty impressive. It has a name and everything. Ah, don't be stupid. I lost everything chasing that gem. Our fortune, our home, even Mara. I would have put our wealth into something profitable, like Orlesian wigs or nugskin coats. Our? Get this, you self-righteous ass. You got no claim on that coin. What? Why don't you head back to your fancy house in Hightown and stay out of my damn business? Dick. It's not a good feeling, you know. What? Being an abomination. I just got a taste of your future. I'm not that foolish. Our relationship is, um, strictly platonic. Yeah! <laughs> it's like you're trapped in your own body. Seeing out your eyes. While someone else moves you like a puppet. And you're trying to scream. To move a single muscle, but there's no escape. Until you look down at the blood on your hands. Stop it! You're scaring me. That's the point. Ah. Where can I swap him out? Jeez, I don't want to play with him. <laughs> I don't care if I am making mage-centric choices. He was so much fun in Awakenings. And he has just been the biggest buzzkill in Dragon Age 2. I mean, ugh. And I mean, I even did a playthrough where I romanced him, and he was still just... Eh. The poor mages. I don't feel for the mages. I really do. I the whole thing where they're trapped in the circles that bugs me. But God, <sighs> oh. Nothing. Jeez. I never mentioned that I like your coat. You do? It's very lively. Like a crow in the middle of hunting. That's... <laughs> that's great. Thanks, Meryl. I tried. <laughs> oh, God, I still gotta get rid of her. Him. Him. Didn't I just come from here? Ooh, I know. Yes, Debbie Downer Anders, definitely. Oh, cheer up, Blondie. You're making me cry just looking at you. <laughs> Don't. You made a mistake. It happens. I almost killed a girl. You've killed 254 by my last count. Plus about 500 men, a few dozen giant spiders, and at least two demons. It's not the same. Why? Because this one you feel bad about? <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. I swear, you guys, I'm seriously, like, thinking about going back and reloading it and seeing if I, can, if I can get Isabella to stay with me. She was my favorite. I won't, though. I'd have to start a whole new playthrough, and I'm just not interested. Are you the ones who sent the note about the gem of Karoshek? We were beginning to think you wouldn't show. It's rude to keep people waiting, you know? It's not like I don't got things to do. To inconvenience an upstanding citizen such as yourself. My, where are my manners? Don't talk down to me. I ain't stupid. Yeah, you are. See, we was hired to give you a note. Yeah, I've romanced but Fenris as well. it's the thing the note talks about. We decided we want that instead. You better hand it over. 
I've I've done a playthrough where I romanced Fenris. I did one where I romanced Anders. I've romanced Meryl twice. Um, Isabella once. That's everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I've played it a lot. I'm surprised you know what a note is. Let alone know how to read one. I don't need to know how to read. All I need to know is which end of the sword goes where. We aren't going anywhere without that gem. Yeah, I'm looking at my, my friendship level with Fenris and it looks like I'm going to end up having to kill him. Because he's not... You have to either be all the way friends or all the way rivals to get away with not killing him at the end. Unless you side with the Templars. Um, you guys, I have got to take a quick bio. So I'm just going to BFK for just a second. I'm be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Now we can get back to work. <laughs> well, my favorite um, is to have Meryl Anders, or not Anders, <laughs> Varric, and... Um, Isabella in a group together. Sorry, just brain farting all over the place right now. Say, uh, the things they say back and forth just crack me up. Okay. What have I got? On the loose. Gamlin's greatest treasure. Justice. Murder of crows. Who needs rescuing? Blech. Yeah. Well, and I mean, I guess if you really want to be fair and look at the way the story. Your brother. I did. What? I wasn't expecting that. 
I assume there was a time when you and he were friends. With Partrand? No. Just brothers. Occasionally he wasn't insufferable. <laughs> and yet you remained at his side. Too bad he didn't do the same. Um, anyway, if you look at Dragon Age Awakenings and how the story plays out there, you can kind of get a hint of where he's headed with the whole thing. Because he spends a lot of time complaining about the Templars and, you know, he keeps trying to escape and all this other stuff. So I can see how he would devolve into this character that's just focused on this one thing. That's all he cares about and he makes bad choices because of it. He's still a whiny cunt, though. Oh! I mean, bitch! <laughs> Sorry! What do you want now? I found this note on a thug who attacked me. It mentions your wallet, Mallet. <laughs> Haven't played wallop since I was a kid. Still got my mallet up on the wall, though. Last time I was any good at something. What the hell's a wallop mallet? <laughs> Poor Anders. You pity him. He's dangerous to himself and everyone around him. I think he's broken the thing he wanted to save. You pity him because he's you. Breaking the things you love most isn't restricted to mages, Fenris. Sadly true. Oh, God. I forgot how judgmental Fenris the was. Dark tree is where we need to go. Well, I know that. That's why we're here. Slow your roll there. I can't believe they used the wood from a Venandal tree to make this wallop mallet. It's just a child's toy. Wallop mallet? You must be the one I'm supposed to give this note to. This person is like an underpaid brothel wench. He enjoys leading us on. <laughs> he was given a few coins to hand this over to whoever came asking about wallop mallets. Unfortunately, the person was hooded, and it was dark. I didn't get a good look. <laughs> Obviously a human, though. No mistaking that. Even hooded, you all look alike. Racist! Oh. To a warehouse next. It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> Yes, it's like a treasure hunt. Cutie pie. <laughs> uh what? <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, the docks at night. Shenanigans. Really? Ew, he exploded into chunks. Did you see that? Thanks, Spacey! Oh, Fenris. Very judgmental. Oh, mages are evil. Ah. Which makes sense given his character's background, but. Cup war nights aren't safe. Always some group of thugs around. Someone will usually pay for their removal, though. Yes, someone will pay for their removal. Yeah, I, I mean, I get where he's coming from, but being as how I am a mage, it's kind of... I mean, you know, and I've played a warrior and a rogue before, it's... These warehouses are occasionally used to store things. but not just for clandestine. <laughs> I couldn't prove it by me. Wow. Ooh, I like electrical damage. That's cool. 
Oh, just die. Seems to be unhealthy. It is unhealthy. Nobody should ever mess with us. Disused passage. I gotta see what's down here, you guys. I'm curious. Beggars? Sick as sin. But I outlived the Vicant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did, sir. Get back! Yes. Yes, I would rather have Fenris than Anders. Because, man, that guy is whiny. Can't go up to low tower. Of course, really, my preference would be to have Isabella. <laughs> I need to get off of that. I'm, I'm obsessing. I gotta stop. Oh, sorry. Thank you. God. Totally spaced out on that one. Well, it was the cutest thing. I went upstairs to go to the bathroom, and I could hear my husband to listening to his phone. And he's supposed to have gone to sleep a while ago, because he's got to get up and go to work. So I go in there to tell him to go to bed, and he's watching my stream. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. So I came down grinning like an idiot and wasn't thinking. Why am I here? What is in here? I'm in the sewers where we just went and got all that crap from. I guess we can go out the door here. Nope. That's not the door. Bonnie Lem. To the docks! At least I found a Kunari sword. And now I'm lost. Oi. What is that? I don't remember that statue. Huh. Uh, I don't have any of the DLCs for Dragon Age 2. I'm going to get some as soon as I have a little extra cash to spend on it. But, for the moment, and actually I really want to get it because I haven't played, yeah, because I haven't played them ever, and I'd really like to see the stories. Fish, fish, and more fish. Go oh. Let's look for those crates. <laughs> 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 
He's a Bible thumper? What, is he all, like, part of the Chantry? I wonder what's in these crates. Something seems off. It's a trap! It's a trap! Oh, this is funny, she doesn't look like a Mon Calamari. Ooh, my nerd is showing. Go, oh, Meryl. Nuke those bastards. I'm talking about. I'm surprised they sent so many men just to capture someone like Gamblin. It's time to end this charade. Hmm. <laughs> Chantry lever. Ooh. I don't know if I can handle that. I mean, I had to deal with that with frickin' Liliana. Not that I didn't enjoy her character, but holy crap, make her this and make her that. Wait, did I open the right chest on accident? Okay. I took all the loot. cleverly placed barricades to keep me from wandering around on the boats. Oh, that's a Kunari head. So that must be me, then. Heh! <laughs> totally not a dude. the sink. I like Scottish voice actors. I like Scottish accents. Actually, it's really funny because my, um, totally unrelated, my guild leader in World of Warcraft is Scottish. So, yeah, all the girls in my guild get a big kick out of listening to him talk. He actually got on last night and watched my stream for a little while. <laughs> he was one of the first people to follow me after I got my follow announcement thingy. Scared the crap out of me! I must have jumped three feet out of my seat. It was bad. Guys, let me know if I pass any crafting mats or anything. Sometimes I don't see them.
That is a scary empty space. So Gamlin couldn't even be bothered to come himself. I should have expected he'd send you, cousin. You never told me you had a cousin. I have a cousin. Gamlin never told you. I... Of course he didn't. Why would he? Sorry to interrupt this touching family reunion. But we have unfinished business here. You're Gold. creepy. What are you doing here? Mechel is dead. That bitch killed him. Don't talk to me like that. What's a Mechel? <laughs> my brother. Mechel was my brother. And you killed him. That doesn't make sense. Mechel was just supposed to hand over the note. You really think we didn't read it? We know about the gem charade. Hand it over. I won't let Mechel's death be for nothing. You let your brother go up against someone like Hawk for a stupid gem. <laughs> you know what? I did find the gem, but you're not getting your pathetic little hands on it, Veld. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Looks like I end well for you. Stunned me. You bastard. Oh, for Pete's sake. Proud of Abari? I'll bring him Abari. How about that? Better loot the shit now. I really hate the way they make you miss out on loot. Oh, hey, we're gonna do a cutscene that's gonna take you right out of this area, and you can't have any of your loot. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty useful in a fight. You don't take after Gamlin at all. And I wouldn't have taken you for his daughter. What with being able to fight. Oh, the spiders. I guess I should take that as a compliment. My mother, Mara, she left Gamlin before I was born. He was so fixated on finding that stupid gem. I doubt he even noticed she was gone. She told me about Gamlin before she died last year. I didn't even know about him. Yeah, I got into a couple of caves. <laughs> had spiders come out of the ceiling at me and just went like, ah! <laughs> Next time you want to talk to someone, maybe try knocking on their door first. Oh yes, that sounds brilliant. Just show up on his doorstep and say, Hi, I'm your daughter. I doubt that would go over well. I just wanted to see, I don't know, how far he'd go for something he really wanted. And then he doesn't even show up. I baited him with the one thing I thought would get his attention. He's got some good qualities. You might be surprised. Really? What do you think I should do? I think you should go talk to Gamlin. Does he even know about you? I... I'm not sure. Having family might be more worthwhile than you think. Maybe give him a chance before you write him off. Yeah. I think I will. Having a cousin turned out to be a good thing. Maybe having a father will too. But first go clean off all that eye makeup. You look like a clown. Ooh, look, a chest. I'm gonna touch it. Good to go. I'm fairly certain I missed something. At least they're not like the spiders in Dragon Age Origins where they climb on top of you and 
maul you and the blood splattering everywhere. God, that always creeped me out. It's bad enough they're giant spiders. So who is Bianca? My crossbow. Say hello, Bianca. <laughs> but why Bianca? You must have named her after someone. Nope. Mirabelle was taken. <laughs> the way you fondle your weapon is disturbing. <laughs> hey, I'm a perfect gentleman. In public. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Varric. You make you me happy. You this is kind of new to me. I didn't know Mara had a baby. If I did, I would have, well, I don't know, gone after her or something. She used to say I was so much like you. And I didn't even know who you were. I guess I wanted to see for myself. I need some time to think about all this, but if it's all right, I'd like to come back and talk more. I think I'd like that. Also, your hair is awful. Uh, keep, um, uh, safe. <laughs> it looks like you two had a good talk. It was... Bloody awkward, that's what. She looks nothing like you. Except the makeup of small miracles, hmm? Really? I... Hey. <laughs> I may not say this very often, but I'm glad you're one of the family. But seriously, next time, stay out of my damn business, girl. Oh, shut your trap. You're happy. Leave it alone. <sighs> Okay. Mmm. Oatmeal cream pies. Spacey distortion went offline. Oh no! You logging out, dude? You are more naive than I thought. What have I done to you now? To me? Nothing. Not yet. To yourself? You can't even begin to imagine the number of mages that have walked down the path you're now on. My clan didn't believe in me. If you don't believe in me either, I won't mind. Seriously, guys, lay off. I think I'm gonna have to switch to Aveline. Between Anders and Fenris bitching about everything, I'm like, enough. Enough is enough is enough. Okay. Oh, I have a letter. I heard about the business in the square, Monsieur. I hope there's no trouble. Now that you're in trouble. Boom! Ah, there <laughs> he goes again. How he makes these things, I'll never know. Sandal's quite useful to have around. That he is. Yeah, the spiders are awful. Said. Oh, Maker knows what'll happen when I'm gone. I try not to think about it. I'm pretty sure he'll be all right. I want some pie. What the hell? That's the first time I've ever heard him say something that wasn't enchantment. Sandal special. Oh. What is it? What is it?
Sandal's special rune. Increases the chance to knock an enemy back. Uh, thanks, I guess. So, that sucks. I can make it for you. I've got Isabella's dagger, so I guess she's never coming back. <laughs> Isn't this my mine? This can't be good. <laughs> Let's go this way first. Go that way. Oh. Are you ready to go in? Oh, ready as I'll ever be. Balls. We'll have to look for Drake stone deposits along the sides. Shit. Oh, spider! Oh, that's bad! Ah, that scared me. Jeez. Oversized spider fang. Oh, lovely. Thirty-nine? <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize he was mostly naked. This looks like a Drake stone deposit. I need a scraping from the deepest part. There should be more further in. Oh! No, no, no. Bad spiders. Ooh, deep mushroom. Why do spiders have money? There should be more further in. Seriously, don't understand how I can stick my hand inside of a spider and pull out a handful of silver. Also, ew! I never really considered the mechanics of that before. <laughs> left a surprise here for us. What? Oh. There should be more further in. There should be more further in. Okay. You keep saying that. I'm going as fast as I can. Stay still and try not to make any loud. That should be enough. No, no, no. 
Spiders. Piece of cake. Really? Lost Where for a second there. You go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More spiders. I guess I better level everybody. Okay. Thank you. I wouldn't have asked just anyone to venture in there for me. There is one more thing, but we must discuss it privately. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> too many arachnids. Way, way, way too many. I express my strongest disapproval. Uh oh, autosave. That can't be good. so tough. 